Hello everybody and welcome back to the Buffalo State College Bengals Dynasty on NCAA Football 14. We're back here today with a great game against Central Michigan in the MAC last week. The Buffalo State Bengals capped a tremendous comeback in the second half to take down their rivals Buffalo on the road 31-27 today. It will be a tough test. We have Jack Legion for you on the call, so get excited. Drop a like on this video, subscribe if you're new to the channel and want to see more Dynasty content or any other franchise content that we have going on on the channel. This is going to be a tough test. Buffalo State just a little bit out of the MAC lead in their division. Down to the call with Jack. Jack Legion on the call as Kevin Kinsley has it teed up and kicked off and this game is underway. Central Michigan returns about two yards deep into the end zone. It's Jonathan Ward. He takes it out of the 20 and down at about the 26-yard line. And a shocking development as Tommy Lazaro, who is questionable with a bicep injury, will not play. Tony Poljan takes over. They give it left to Ward on the first play of the game. He spins off the tackle, stiff arms a man, and gains about nine yards. Littlefield eventually brings him down. They line up pistol second and one. Give back to Ward. Ward has about three yards and a first down. Central Michigan moves the chains for the first time today. They go two by two bunch out of the gun. Poljan takes a snap. Steps up to run. In trouble and goes down. Wendell Wallace got in his face and it's second and 12. They go trips to the left side. Poljan takes a snap. Sets up screen for Ward. Ward makes the catch and he's dropped. Oliver Rover drives him back. And he loses two, third down and 14. They go single back set. Poljan takes a snap, five-step drop, fires, Hicks. He makes the catch and has plenty of green in front of him. Make it 29 yards out to the 25 in BSC territory. First down and 10, they go trips to the left side. Set up the bubble screen. It's not there. Poljan takes off, in trouble, tripped up and dropped. Danny Dripper got there eventually. But Wendell Wallace, Dante Randall also in the mix. Third and 14, they go empty, three by two. Poljan lobs outside, caught Hicks, and he's shoved out of bounds. Lamar Keys makes the tackle, and they have to take three on their first possession. Out comes BSC and Jeremiah Banks in the offense. Banks was so explosive last week in the win against Buffalo, he gains five. They have a bunch set to the right side. Three men, fires Moss, makes the catch, and he has nearly enough for the first down. He's going to be inches short, though. Second inch as they said, Watsky in motion, give Banks up the middle in a big hole. He has 10 on the carry, already making an impact early in this game as they inch closer. Out of the pistol, Banks gets the carry and not this time. He is denied. Bryson Gray came in there, dropped him for three. Third and 13, they fire and knocked away over the middle looking for Hunter Haskins. Pass a little offline and they are held to no points despite an impressive drive. Central Michigan takes over, finds Brandon Childress on the nine-yard reception, moves the chains one play later, second and six, give to Ward. He finds a hole on the left side, and Dante Dominguez wraps him up from behind after three. Clock ticks to 22 seconds in the first, third and three. Poljan, plenty of time, lobs to the middle, and Law makes the catch over the middle to move the chains and extend the possession. They have 10 seconds, likely the last play of the first quarter. Poljan steps up to run, in trouble, and he goes down again. Three sacks in the first quarter. Billy Bob Bobo gets there. That's the end of the first quarter as Central Michigan leads 3-0. Back to action. Tight end comes in motion right to left. Two wide receivers on the right side. They set up screen to the left. Fires to Ward. Ward makes the to catch and he has a big gain and extends the drive yet again for Central Michigan. They are out to the 35-yard line in Buffalo State Territory. Trips to the right side. Poljan drops back. Plenty of time. Time to tie his shoes. He rolls to his right. Fires and offline. Nobody was open. Truly a coverage incompletion. And they tack on another field goal. Out of the wing offset gun, Banks gets the carry right up the middle and has six on the carry. Clock ticks down to under five. Watsky comes in motion, wing offset. They give to Banks to the left side. He cuts back in and has a first down and a gain of six on the carry. Ticks down to 415. They go single back, two tight ends. Prince takes a snap, rolls to his right, has pressure, and finds Ben Bush over the middle. What a play from Tayshawn Prince to extend the play, not panic, know he's going to take the hit, and find Ben Bush wide open. First and 10, out of the gun. Prince fires Bush's way again, and he makes the catch. Inside the 10 this time, the drive moves forward. 
One play later, bunch to the right side. Prince second and goal! Watch out, there's pressure from Bryson Fast. And he takes down Prince and makes a third down and goal. Bunch to the right side, Prince looks, fires left to the corner of the end zone. He's got Ben Bush back there. Touchdown, Buffalo State. 14 for Ben Bush, his third reception of the drive. And this one allows Buffalo State to take the lead. They've got 255 in the first half of play. Delayed give to Ward and Dante Randall. Not fooled at all. Make it second and 12. And then third down and nine. They go out of the pistol. Poljan sets up screen and Randall got there before he could make the play. Such an explosive player in Dante Randall. And Tayshawn Prince in the offense have great field position. Sweep right Banks. And he picks up 12 on the ground. First and 10, they go shotgun. Banks the back to the right side. He gets the carry, cuts up the middle. Nice move. And he has 10 and another first down for Buffalo State as the clock works down to 42 seconds. Third down and five. Prince, quick throw middle. He's got Watsky. Touchdown, Buffalo State. They lead by seven with the chance to make it eight. And they make the PAT to do so and send us into halftime with a 14 to six lead. And we will be right back. This is the best first half of play we've seen Buffalo State have all season long as they actually lead in the first half of the game for the first time this season. See if they can bring that momentum into the second half as Buffalo State starts out with the football. Trips to the right side out of the gun. Prince quick throw to the right and DJ Lee drops it. Not the start you want. Third down and 10. A chance to extend the possession. Prince trips to the right side. Fires offline. Where was that? Taiwan Swain steals it away off the overthrow. He airmailed it. Central Michigan, great field position as they have trips to the left side. Poljan drops back. Pressure comes and two men get there. Credit Matthew Littlefield and Dante Randall for the sack. And it's third and 18. Poljan, running back, stays in the block, fires outside to Childress. He makes the catch and picks up a first down on the dump off for 24 yards. Defense has to be better than that. They go trips to the right side yet again. Poljan fires middle to Law, and he has a touchdown right off the bat for Central Michigan. They have a chance to tie the game. They do indeed elect to go for two after the big time touchdown. Poljan has trips to the right side yet again. Steps up to run. He's got the corner and Buffalo State can't get there in time. He tacks on two and BSC has the ball yet again. Banks give right up the middle. Don't want to risk another interception. He has 13 on the ground. Two by two look tight end to the right side. Prince drops back. Pressure comes. Fires middle and he missed his man as pressure arrived. Fourth down and nine. Central Michigan gets another stop in the third quarter. Snap taken with five to go. Poljan lobs, has his man on the out route, and Hicks makes the catch over the middle. Julian Hicks has 15 on the reception to put him at the 41-yard line as Poljan goes play action, throws over the middle, right back to Hicks, and Matthew Littlefield makes a stop, but not before he picks up nine. Shotgun set, Ward to the right side. They give to Ward, he sweeps to the left, and he has a first down and a little bit more out to the 45 into Buffalo State territory. First down and 10 yet again. They go back to the play action. Hicks has it over the middle and gets around Littlefield to pick up a first down and 16 to the 30. Trips to the right, tight end left. Poljan on second and 10. Drops back, fires, has a man downfield. It's Childress. He beat everybody, including the safety, Todd Tremblay, and scores on the long bomb. Completely missed coverage from Buffalo State. Poljan sees it, takes advantage, and Central Michigan's on top, 21-14. Buffalo State retakes the field, bunch to the right side. Prince drops back, quick throw to Bush, who is isolated on the left. He makes the catch, turns off field, plenty of room. Ben Bush, gone like a girl in a country song. See you later, 81 yards. That is how you get it done as Prince saw him wide open over the middle. Denzel Moss with the killer block. And Ben Bush, who's had a great game, has his second touchdown and takes this all the way. Tied 21 all. Poljan takes the snap. Fires quick over the middle. Hicks beats Shoemaker. It's a full race. And he's finally drugged down inside the five. 39 yards on the reception. Thankfully, Shoemaker's able to stop him. But that is a tough blow for Buffalo State. 
Second and goal. Pulls in. Lobs outside. Has a man. It ticks again. And he's into the end zone for a Central Michigan touchdown. Just like that, they retake the lead in what has been another lead change in a game full of them. First down and 10. Prince goes empty. Two by three. Lee makes the catch and has 15 yards in the first down for Buffalo State. They have a bunch to the right side. Prince fires that way to Watsky and he makes the play. Nine yards on the out route. He moves the chains. One play later, second down and 10. Prince, bunch right, fires Moss's way, and he makes the catch for 13. And another first down for Buffalo State. They are rolling like a bus without brakes. Prince, bunch to the left side, fires Watsky yet again. He makes the catch and falls forward for a first down. They haven't changed their personnel this entire time. Finally, they do, wing offset. Banks gets the carry from right to left, cuts to the right, and has four yards, make it third down and three with one minute left. They go a bunch to the right. No surprise. Prince dumps it off for Moss. He breaks a tackle and has the reception to make it first down and goal inside the 10. 50 seconds and ticking in the third quarter of play. First and goal. Banks sweeps to the right side. Cuts up field. Breaks a tackle and turns that loss into five yards. Excellent play. One play later, third and goal. Can Grant punch it in? He checks in, and he scores from one yard out, giving Jeremiah Banks a breather and says, I got you, brother. Powers it in. It's tied yet again as we end the third quarter. 28 all and going into the fourth. What an exciting game it's been so far, and it's not over. We've got seven more minutes of game action as Hicks makes the catch over the middle for 13 yards and has the first for Central Michigan. Defense has been non-existent today as Poljan delayed give Ward and he has six yards. Joey Shoemaker, Melvin Flanagan bring him down. Third and four receiver motions inside. Three to the right. Poljan sets up screen to the left for Ward. He steps up and goes down. Randall got there, but there's a flag. 15 yards for Central Michigan. Randall got handsy. Poljan, first and 10, steps up to run. Littlefield wraps him up after eight. Five minutes to go in the game. Second down and two. Pole jam play action. Steps up. Quick throw outside. It's Hesbrook. Stiff arms a man and is run out of bounds after five. Fresh set of downs for Central Michigan. Tight end comes in motion to the left. Ward follows his blockers that way. Makes a cut. And he has about nine and keeps chugging to about 12 yards on the gain. What a powerful effort from Ward, despite not having the best game as Pole jam pulls it down and has a gain of about nine himself. So sticking to the ground game, trying to work this clock down to under four minutes to go in the game. Second and one, Poljan sets up screen. Spalding makes the catch, and he has plenty of room as he's finally drugged down after nine yards. They're getting closer. Third down and three inside the five. Poljan gives Spalding. He's wrapped up and can't go anywhere. Danny Dripper with the big play in the backfield. They have to kick three, and with two minutes, Prince and Co. have a chance to work down the clock and either tie or win this game as Banks carries forward for a gain of 12. A powerful run from him as well. Second and 10, more than 45 remaining. Prince rolls to his left side, tackled by his ankles and can't get away from Bryson Fast again. Third down and 20 after the sack. Prince drops back. Pressure comes. Doesn't see it on his blind side. And he is dropped for 11. It's fourth and 31. 134. They have one timeout. They have to go for it. Prince lobs downfield for Moss. And it's nearly intercepted. And that was the biggest play of the game. And Central Michigan has a chance to close this one out. First down and 10. A chance to win the game with great field position. Poljan gives Ward up the middle a big hole and he's dropped after nine. The Bengals are completely out of timeouts. There's 123 to go in the game. Poljan gives to Ward up the middle and he powers in for a touchdown. They take a 10 point lead and chances of Buffalo State winning are becoming quickly, and I mean quickly, Hopeless as Lee stands back to return. Takes it, cuts to the right side. This will help out to the 30, the 40, and hurdles to the 45. 44 yards on the return for DJ Lee as he sets up Buffalo State with great field position with 113. They're going to need it. Prince, quick throw. This will also help. Hunter Haskins made reservations for six. With 106 remaining in the game, he's able to take it all the way. 
But hold your horses. 106 remaining. Central Michigan, if they get the ball back, they can need out win this game. They need the onside kick. Kevin Kinsley lines up, kicks it away, bounces off the hands. Who has it? BJ Lynch comes out of the pile with it. Are you kidding me? BSC has a chance to either win or tie this game and send it to overtime. Prince, 104 remaining, fires to Haskins, out of bounds with 13 yards. They go empty, two by three set. Prince alone in the backfield. Drops back, rolls to his right side, pressure comes, chucks it away. And a smart decision as a sack would not be helpful in this situation. They go to empty yet again, two by three, four man rush comes, Prince quick throw middle. He has Ben Bush into field goal range and first down and 10. They want to get a little bit closer, however, 44 and ticking. Prince fires outside to Watsky, and he does just that, getting inside the 20, and they are not going to waste any time. They're going to center this and spike the ball with two seconds left in Kevin Kinsley. All pressure in the world. He's iced. Kick on the way, up, looks good, is good. And Buffalo State continues to surprise. Once down 10 with about 1.15 remaining and they get it done. This game's in overtime. First possession, Central Michigan has it. They go trips to the le left side. BSC shows cover two. Poljan fires and it's intercepted. Joey Shoemaker was beat earlier and pulls off the turnover. And Buffalo State only needs a field goal to win the game. What a clutch play from a clutch player. Tayshawn Prince gives left to Banks. He cuts inside and has a first down and they waste absolutely no time after the eight yard carry. Kinsley for the win, up, and it is good! Buffalo State wins it, can you believe it? 41 to 38 after a miraculous onside kick, and back to FG. What a miracle of a game, one of the most consistent games that we've seen from the Bengals all season long. Unlike anything we've seen from them all season, they fell behind 28 to 38 with a minute 20 to go, but miraculously recovered an onside kick after scoring to send this game to overtime, where Joey Shoemaker intercepted a pass on the first overtime possession, and the Bengals kick a field goal to win the game. Tayshawn Prince had four touchdowns through the air and played his very best game all season. We bring in recruit running back Leon Jacobs. He was so impressed with the performance and the overtime win on the road this week. He decided to commit out of New Brunswick, New Jersey. It's great to see him come in 94 speed. He is going to be something to watch out for next season for sure maybe seasons beyond obviously but we have a tough test next week staying in mac conference play to play against bowling green they have jarrett dodge as their sophomore quarterback he can move a little bit he can throw a little bit as well so it is going to be exciting to see they're coming off of a loss to toledo they're going to be angry they're going to be right on us and after us all game long so we have got to be prepared I know the coach is getting them going, so if you're excited for that game, make sure you drop a like on this video, subscribe if you're new to the channel and want to follow along on this great dynasty, and we can build a winner together. Take care.